Hey, Captain Ripple. Watching the game, buddy. Gonna watch the game with you. I've got no else better to. <laughs> Good to see you. Let's watch the game and play some odd music in between. Yes, Mrs. Raypole, I can see that they are redeeming themselves and so they bloody well should do. I just hope I've not jinxed it again by um, streaming it. I'm going to bring the um, game up now. Let's watch it. See how we go. Come on, Alabama. Come on, Alabama. to this really cool part. All right, cut. I'm on here. And now we're gonna go to the Shibuya sky. Fucking this adverts. Unconventional thinking. It's better for business. Someone you can rely, who's always on your side. That's why there's nationwide. That's why there's nationwide. Nationwide is on your side. On a suspicious fansville by Dr. Pepper. Howdy, Logan. Wonder if you can help me out with some. Sure, sure. Looking for a couple of goalposts. Went missing after the big win last night. What? That's awful. Who would steal a goalpost? Say, that is a nice new swing set you got there. Oh, this old thing it makes the boy happy, I guess. Interesting design. Oh, yeah, it's Scandinavian. You know what? You should check the streakers across the street. They have a very suspicious new antenna. Thanks for the tip. Anytime, Sheriff. Dr. Pepper, the one fans deserve. Our house seemed like a dream come true. Great character, great neighborhood. Until Mrs. Cashman started feeding the neighborhood cats. All the cats. We need to move right now. With Rocket Mortgage, we can adjust our home loan options in real time. Customize our monthly payment, down payment, and closing costs. Please. And no cats. It was a catastrophe. Just no. 
When you need control over your home loan, Rocket can. When you're driving a Lincoln, stress seems to evaporate into thin air, which leaves us to wonder, where does it go? Does it get tangled up in knots? Or fall victim to gravity? Or maybe it winds up somewhere over the Bermuda Triangle. Perhaps it's on BT Sports, um, Bob. Is it free, though? Is it free? These fucking adverts are taking the piss. How many adverts have we had now? Mind you, gotta be honest. I could do with a Big Mac Crack right now. <laughs> Look at them tasty burgers. Mm -mm. Well, this season, along with her contributions to University General Scholarship Funds, for every field goal and extra point made, all state will also be donating to the American Red Cross to help with disaster relief. Thank you, all state. They've donated well to this point tonight. Twenty-eight to nine Alabama three field goals from Rees from Mississippi State spectacular start to open up this second half for the tide and Bryce Young and Jamison Williams for a 75 yard touchdown Williams back deep now on kickoff return one of the most dynamic game changers in college football the transfer from Ohio State And here he is in stride on the return. Catches a lane. Flag comes in from all the way back at the 10 yard line. Uh, Williams was so good last week when they were trailing AM as well. During the they used return, him to spark the comeback. Holding on the return team, number 42. 10 yard penalty. First down. Katie. Well, guys, last weekend, former Alabama quarterback Mac Jones texted Bryce Young after the loss, sharing his thoughts and advice. Of course, the two grew close a season ago. Bryce Young said, I got a front row seat to watching how Jones led, how he worked, how he was the leader that this team needed in the preparation that it takes to be the quarterback here at Alabama. The two talk every single weekend. It's a relationship Young says he values a great deal. And Greg, you know better than anyone, I just feel like the quarterbacks who play for this program genuinely genuinely care about the success of the guy that comes behind them. Oh, absolutely. Ryan Robinson, and she gets out to the 22-yard line. And I think a big part of that, too, is, I mean, you don't realize, I think a lot of people don't realize just how much your backup helps you. I mean, see, it's your eyes from the sideline. You grow really close. I mean, the guy I backed up sitting about 25 feet to my left, John Parker Wilson, we're extremely close. I mean, it's just, that's what happens. You want to make sure that that backup quarterback, you have to trust them implicitly because the coaches are going to see things one way, but the quarterback sees it from the perspective in which he was repping just like you were all week long. So it's incredibly valuable, and it's great that both Bryce and Mac have that relationship to lean on each other. John Parker, of course, who was the starting quarterback for Saban's first year on the job. Taken down is Bryce Young by Aaron Brule. Last year, he led all linebackers in the country in quarterback pressures. He gets to Bryce Young here. And a great job there, just going with an internal cross dog as they try to get Brule in one-on-one -on -one against Dalcourt, the center. He wins a cross face. Dalcourt can't recover. Just a great sack there by Brule. As protection, a bit of a concern for Alabama this year. They're not used to saying that. Last week, they went down four times with Young and was hurried. Mechie. The 20 yard line on second and 20. Just five yards there. The third and long. Really now, this is a score line I'd like to see. Alabama 28. Mississippi. Fuck whatever they call. Nine. Tripped up, keeps his footing. And makes it to the 30 yard line. It'll be fourth down. Punt team will be trying to 
killing them. Come on, they're back on form. It seems Alabama's back on form after last week's performance, Mrs. Ray Paul, Captain Ray Paul. Good to see. Rallying up, making a tackle in the open field. Just a really nice sequence there by the Bulldogs and their defensive coordinator, Zach Arnett. Burn it. Knuckler takes a bounce. A lot of traffic around it. And it looked like there was some contact as there's a fight for the ball. Jaden Wally was the return man. <laughs> all right, Alabama's get off him then, for God's sake. Why do they, they all have to pile on like that? He's down. He's down. Two men to get him down. And Wally I'm thinking about eight people it. downing him. <laughs> What's going on there? Only these one to keep the fucking down him. It's a 50 yard get off him. Under eight Come minutes on, to Alabama. go here in the third. Yes. Bama's been Come in control, on, but the Bulldogs have the ball when we return on a beautiful night with the big crowds out in Stark Vegas. Want to know the secret to trading? An award-winning, cutting-edge platform. Round-the-clock access. And 47 years experience. It's IG. IG. It's IG. Charlotte, Charles. Sure. Every day can be extraordinary with thick, creamy, delicious Faye Total Yogurt. Did one of you gentlemen use Nissan at home to order 40 Pathfinders? Baker said it's another Heisman thing. I didn't think you'd believe me. Here are your keys, sir. We're kicking off game day with a Twisted Tea drop. We're surprising real Twisted Tea fans who love the smooth and refreshing taste of Twisted Tea hard iced tea. Real brewed tea with a 5% of Friggin' adverts. God, they just... Welcome to all They love them, don't they? They love them, Bob. Bob. They love their adverts. We're going to do something about these adverts, aren't we? We don't freaking want them, do we? Shove them up your arse. For the adverts. Because better protection costs a whole lot less. You're in good hands with Allstate. Click or call for a lower auto rate today. Tide Pods Ultra Oxy one-ups the cleaning power of liquid. Can it one-up whatever they're doing? For sure. Seriously? One-up the power of liquid, one-up the toughest stains. Any further questions? Uh -huh. One-up the power of liquid with Tide Pods Ultra Oxy. And we are all clear. Whoa, you see that? What? Craftsman style, three bed, two bath. Huh? Uh, me and the wife are house hunting. Just got pre-approved for a mortgage with Navy Federal Credit Union. No down payment. Roger that. Yeah, roof's in good shape, and it's on a cul-de-sac. Get 100% financing from a top VA loan provider. Bank left. There's another listing on Walker Road. I think it's got a hot tub. Proudly serving the entire military community. Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. SEC football finals, an absolute must watch. Hey, folks, time to represent your school. Submit your best fan video to hashtag show your Saturday. You may get 15 seconds of the game. Listen around the SEC today. Georgia did for Georgia Dubs. They beat Kentucky. That was a big win for Auburn at Arkansas. Massive. And it was a really a gutsy performance. Uh, Bo Nix was outstanding. They looked very poised. Very accurate, especially down the My mind is blown. Correct. With what we just saw. From Their four best players are shut down for right here, right? They, they had 60 players available for them out of a, a normal 85. And
and my goodness, for them to put on that performance, both offensively and defensively, more ways offensively than defensively, but man, it was a heck of a job by those runs. Well, Rogers goes down again. This time it's Henry Toe Oto with the sack. So lined up at the top of the M in Mississippi State. He just wraps right around. He sees Scott Lashley, the right tackle, engaged underneath. And no one taking care of the edge. He just loops right around and drops Will Rogers for a sack. Excellent recognition by the transfer from Tennessee. I'm too pissed to play bloody Second rock and roll. 16. Rogers plenty of time Come on, this Alabama. Time. And coming Come back on. to the ball was Ooh, McCoy. What's that? So he picked up nine yards after the sack. <laughs> William Paganucci. Hey, William. Really good throw there. Can't really believe you are watching football Cole. again, Coming says William. It's got to be done. We've got to support Alabama. They're an awesome team. Awesome team. And they're going to be victorious tonight. Rogers goes down again. And it's definitely Seven looking that way. Hey, the They're well in the lead. Rogers, the well in the lead. The humanitarian, his 19 points in, in the American lead. History is, That's how I it never should be. Met a man I didn't like. That's Come what he would say time and again. This Will Rogers has meant plenty of men he doesn't like. Like the Alabama front seven crashing home on him with Will Anderson leading the charge. How about it? I mean, Will Anderson, we said it at halftime. We said it in the first half. If Will Anderson gets a one-on-one, -on -one, it's over. Right there, another one-on-one -on -one against the right tackle for the Bulldogs. He wins inside as his quarterback steps up and drops him for his fourth sack of the night. Third punt for Archer Tra Trafford. JoJo Earl calls for the catch and he mucked it, but then was able to secure it. And it's just a little moment of angst there. and ESPN, Tuesday. Hey, guess what, guys? We've got a fantastic assortment of adverts again. Aren't they awesome, these adverts? Aren't they so fantastic? to take you away from the game, the excitement of the game, the football game. We must have loads of adverts, aren't we? For F's sake. There are I swear to God they're just... That remain in the dark. I swear to God they're putting more adverts and more adverts on every single friggin' time, experience, aren't they? You have the flexibility you need to unveil them to the world. <laughs> wow, we're crunching tons of polygons here. What's going on? Where's Regina? Hi, I'm LaDonna. I invest in Invesco QQQ, a fund that gives me access to NASDAQ 100 innovations like real-time CGI. <laughs> OK. Yeah, it's, oh, don't worry, I got it. Become an agent of innovation with Invesco QQQ. Before investing, carefully read and consider fund investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses, and more. In prospectus at Invesco.com. You know that fresh made-to-order salad you've been craving? What if you... Toro, I can trade alone or trade together. 
Right now, I'm really getting pissed. This is too much of a fucking advert. Now it's taking piss. Oh wait, I've got an option. Skip ad. Skip ad. Skip ads. Fuff. Fuck's it. Oh, now we get another ad. Did you, did you see that everybody? It gave me the option of skip ads, so I skipped the ads, and what happens? It goes to another ad. Is this the world we're living in now? Well, it's just full of ads. Oh, we're back. We're back. Finally. For fuck's sake. Come on, Alabama. On ESPN, and of course, the app. So good to hear that music again. Great action of the NHL. Back on this network. Bryce Young on first down. And as he gets it out to Mechie. Mechie has been his favorite target. Eighth time he's looked his way. He's over 100 yards. As he gets the completion for 14 yards there. He's got seven catches for 117. So far, they've obviously committed to the play action pass here in the second half. Two snaps, two play action passes. Williams going to test that right side. Not much there. Hey, speaking of the NHL, Greg, obviously you live in the great state of Alabama, been years down in the south. You believe there are three NHL players who were born in the state of Alabama, one <laughs> from Mississippi. I would not. In the have, history of the I would not have guessed that there were that many from the great state of Alabama, but the great state of Alabama has produced a lot of remarkably talented athletes at so many different sports. I can't say I'm shocked, but man, to have four from these two states is pretty remarkable. Able to secure that, and in the face of pressure, goes downfield and a diving catch by Slade Bolden. What poise by Bryce Young. I mean, unbelievable. The ball is snapped way to the left. I don't know how he even corrals it. He gathers himself, even though there's two unblocked Mississippi State Bulldogs coming off the right side, he moves a little bit to his left. As what a throw by the quarterback, man. That was an unbelievable play by Bryce Young. Now they're going to review the catch by Bolden, but look at this from Bryce Young. I mean, look at the snap, way high and left. You got unblocked guys coming off the right-hand side. You know they're coming, so you got to drift and buy time, and the play to Bolden is actually a slow developing route. So a lot of guys just panic, throw it out of bounds, throw it at a guy's foot. Bryce Young gives it time to work. Let's see, is that ball secured? It's moving a little bit, but I don't think there's anything on that to suggest it should be overturned. I think this call is going to stand. You know, you and I had a conversation earlier today over, I think, our eighth coffee. And it was how you describe him as just having this level of maturity. Now, maturity is not something that we talk about often with young quarterbacks in college football, with guys who are in their first year. We, re we rarely talk about that. We typically overuse descriptives of their great physical skills. But that is often the first word that comes to mind with Bryce Young. Right, but the physical skills, you know, some of those things just can't be taught. I mean, it just it's you either got it or you don't. He clearly does. But this part of your game, to have it just six starts in is unbelievable. I mean, he's got such maturity, such comfort, and he never panics. I mean, I think a play like that, a lot of young guys panic, run out of the pocket immediately. As soon as the snaps off, take off. Not him. Hey, John Perry, our rules expert, let's bring you into the conversation on this catch by Bolt. Tess, good evening. Not enough to change. It's it's uh, control prior to that ball hitting the turf. Does it move a little bit? Yeah, but not enough to make it incomplete. I would go stands. That's what I would go to. I, catch no catch is always dicey, and there is some gray area there. It's almost impossible to make anything as far as catch no catch, black and white. And in this particular case, I just don't think there's enough. I mean, I think the ball moves a little bit, but it feels secured when you look at Slade Bolden. It was a heck of an effort from him as well. If it was called incomplete on the field, I think it'd be incomplete. If it was called complete on the field, I think it's called complete. I just don't think there's anything on the video that suggests a change in the outcome needs to be made. Right there is. So Perry says catch, I say catch. What do you think, Tess? Oh, I was going with Perry. Super Bowl official. John, what is the one thing they look for in that sequence? You've always talked about the hands being underneath the ball.
usually when it takes Try this to long, find the best, best angle that you can find to confirm it or reverse it. After review, it was an incomplete pass. Wow. It'll be third and wow. eight at the 32-yard line. I'm really surprised. I'm really surprised by that. That's oh, it was going off. Is, the, is, is this a timeout, it's Captain Maple? This is a, a timeout. Original spot going on here. Distance, What's the delay? Left, so a huge call there. Get on with it, for God's sake. Come in on. Favor of the Mississippi State Bulldogs. Now Bama facing third and eight from their own 32. Alabama's going to kill you. Come on, Alabama. Come on. Whitewash. Wipe off the catch. Put a little pressure on third. 68 down. now, and it's going to be Young. at the end. Come on. Oh, gonna here he it. goes. Here we go. Run. And he's going to get it. And then stride out. What the fuck? Good job. So third and eight, he goes for 13. Really good job there by Bryce Young. He's not a guy, when he leaves the pocket, he leaves that passing posture. He's not often looking to run. Is it me? Oh, why, did case, not, why did he not Why did he not continue no running then? On the left side. I'm confused. Pressure, it overloaded to the right. It was well protected. And Young saw a lot of green grass, which he took advantage of. Robinson charge ahead to the over the 48 yard line. Got Arizona State and Utah still to come. motions across Bryce looks that way now gets the eyes to the other side and it's incomplete as he was looking at Billingsley the third and six Zach Barnett young defensive coordinator what will he bring against Bryce Young brought pressure the last couple times Discover the world of Wes Anderson's The French Dispatch. Bit of sports, bit of crime, bit of politics. It's brilliant, a breakless free wheel through a teeming bazaar. Physically or metaphorically? Both. Anderson bombards us with delicious. And getting it out of the backfield is Robinson, and look at him turn it on. B Rob, TD, Tom. 51 is that a touchdown? That's a goddamn touchdown. Perfectly. Yes. 34-9. You live Come by the blitz on. and you die by the blitz. Get in there. A little surprise that Arnett tried to heat Bryce Young. It's a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Finding his hot routes. Well done, Alabama. Well done. Receivers. Keep it's it up. Keep it up. Job of taking advantage of leverage. And finding the uncovered guy against an all out pressure cover zero from Mississippi State. Explosive plays for Alabama tonight. They've gone for 41 yards, 75 yards, and this for 51 yards. Yeah, and as you can see, I mean, Bryce Young knows it's all out pressure. It's a flat top defense. Those guys are coming. You know that one of the guys is unblocked. He's yours. You own it. But as a result, you're going to have a guy in open space. And especially when you have a running back. Not a lot of teams are going to go with a five-man protection with five guys along the offensive line in protection. And then the hot outlet is going to be the running back on the little out route. And that's almost uncoverable because the guy responsible for him has to peel. So Brian Robinson is wide open. Young knows exactly where to go with the football. Very calm, retreats just a little bit, invites that rusher, and delivers a strike, and Robinson does the rest. Just an excellent job of execution there in the Alabama passing attack. Yeah, Blinken, it's 35 to nine. That a chance to check in with the studio and Matt. 
All right, guys, they've gone to the half in Rocky Top, Tennessee, Ole Miss, Snoop Connor right up the gut right now. Rebels 24-12 lead over Tennessee. Big one of the ACC, Boston College, NC State. Problem for Boston College special teams. Grant Carlson can't come up with it. Devin Boykin scoop and score for the Wolfpack up 17-7. Back here in Starkville, Alabama's played more games against Mississippi State than any other opponent in their history. And right now, home team's in a big hole. As Johnson takes it ahead for the Bulldogs. Johnson a little slow to get up. He was a little hobbled earlier, too. And it's the second time now where he's gone to the Bulldog bench with a little bit of pain. Hopefully, he's okay. So Woody Marks comes in. Rogers on second and seven. Quick hitch that time to Calvin. Woody Marks, the running back number seven, who just came in. Yes, his first name is Woody. His actual birth name is Jaquavius, but he loved watching nonstop his favorite movie as a kid, Toy Story. So Woody was the nickname and stuck. I love it. He's a great player, too. It's exactly what they need in this offense. Excellent catching the ball out of the backfield. And he, along with his partner in crime, Will Rogers, there in the backfield, they're going to set a lot of quarterback to wide receiver, quarterback to running back receptions and completion records here in Starkville, that's for sure. Before the snap, false start. Offense number 58, five yard penalty. Third down. That's a Starkville native, Cameron Jones. You can see Mike Lee has to be a little frustrated. They've had some good drives, haven't been able to finish drives. So far, they've made a few too many mistakes. Right now, Rush. They know what's coming. They can just tee off. They've had seven sacks tonight. And that was almost going to be number eight if he didn't throw it away. Armour Davis was coming in on a corner blitz. It's going to be one of those nights for Will Rogers. But it's a tough pass for Mike Leach. Yeah, he can tell you, hey, the field for a work in progress. The field for the press head in the right direction. But understand where the band program has been for in the place they're in this week. When you're coming off, the kind of loss they're coming off of, and the way Saban uses that as a tool and device. They are going to be the need to decide for football. I think they were a little frustrated with some of the things they said. Over the last week about their performance. Oh, fair catch out on the Quarterbacks sit next to their receivers over on the sidelines. Not Bryce Young. After that last touchdown, he wedged himself between Evan Neal and Chris Owens, putting his arms around both offensive linemen, just showing some love to his big men up front for doing a lot of great work for him today. That's a good guy to put your arm around big number 75 I think I've seen that video 4,000 oh, times. I can't it play like that when I'm pissed. Like, from a physics standpoint, doesn't I'm make too drunk. Come on, I'm at 35 I mean, now. I think it's in the bag. The offensive line deserves a ton of it's credit in the bag. Challenged throughout the course of the past week. Unless Mississippi and pulls them up back, but I got a cow see it now. And three, and Williams was Come on, Alabama. Whitewash. Until Here we ten yards go. Downfield. Fantastic. Another first down for the tie. Well, this is Ray Paul, Captain Ray Paul. A way Chris better performance than last week. Right way better. After he was going through what 
was described as a little bit of a competition this week with some of the freshmen. Come JC on. Latham and Damian 40 George. seconds left. They were starting to breathe down his neck because he just was not playing to the level that he's capable of playing. Well, tonight, he's been a big reason why they've been getting a lot of good push along the right side of that offensive line mm. in the run game. He's really played well tonight compared to where he was a week ago. A week ago was the upset loss against AM. Flag is down as Williams gets the carry. Oh, and got beat for a sack. Later, a full start on fourth down, but he's playing to his talent and his experience now tonight. The graduate student from Arlington, Texas. You mentioned J.C. Layton. Morning four in the back here. Five-yard penalty. Starts the second half. J.C. Latham part of that tremendous recruiting class. Who you got to think will be hitting the field soon enough, but he was number two offensive line. Still to come on that offensive line. Now the experience is young, and you're a young player. It takes time to grow. Right now, full throttle right away. Bryce Young went to Jamison Williams, and Williams with all that speed went for 75 yards, and then Brian Robinson went for 51. Sod it, I'm not even going to try anymore. These friggin' adverts are driving me nuts. If you want laundry to smell fresh for weeks, make sure you have Downy Yes, Mrs. Ripple, 35 9. End of third quarter. Got direct TV stream, now we can watch live TV and on demand. Serena, scary movie. I think, Serena, Mrs. Ripple, I think it's in the bag, isn't it? It's in the bag. They're going to win this one. Big time. So we've pretty much thrown the kitchen sink at it in terms of regulated crypto offerings. Um, you know, we looked out there and there were a lot of you know, offshore exchanges offering derivatives on crypto, some tight spreads and a lot of instruments, but pretty much not a lot of security, no regulation. And we're seeing a lot of these people now, you know, lose banking relationships and get caught up in a lot of legal issues. Meanwhile, onshore, if you look at a lot of CFD brokers and a lot of regulated entities, they're not really offering much in the way of crypto. So right. yeah, it's just looking for that real... Just yeah. to tell people, is it 10 crypto? Just a bit more, just a tiny bit more. Is it, is it, it 50 cryptos that you're offering? No, no, keep going. Is it 100 <laughs> crypto that you're offering? It's uh, 250 plus. Uh, oh, right now and you're, you're, you're ruining my setup here. I just want to, I want to, uh, it was going to go on a little longer. We're running out of time. 250 <laughs> cryptos. That is like magnitude, 10 times more. 
all of it, of course, wrapped around in a single account, which is, which is very All of it um, basically allowing you to speculate on the price path of the crypto without having to worry about MetaMask wallets and, and all of the um, you know, complicated issues of actually being able to transact. You can transact with a simple point and click ease straight from um, the MetaTrader 5 platform, right? On all of these, uh, um, all of these um, platforms, right? Um, and um, the other thing that I think is kind of interesting about um, your offering, because like you said, you made this reference to the fact that you've been able to tap into liquidity. You know, when I look even when I look even at trading view, and I'm looking at uh, uh, what am I looking at? Uh, who's offering this? This is Bits Bitstamp, right? If I'm looking at Bitstamp, their Bit Bitcoin, their Bitty spread. Their Who the fuck are these? Bitcoin What's going on here? Hold on, man. I'm looking at your platform. Who are these retards? Like Get rid of them. The fucking ads are pissing me off now. Three ninety nine. Oh. oh. The Lexus ES. Sorry, guys. Every curve, every innovation, every feeling, a product of mastery. There, but what a move he put on. And Christ, have we missed anything? Right there. It's a great effort. From Bryce Young. Going on the field with a touchdown. The previous play is under further review. Let's take a look at that foot right there. That looks close. YouTube, one, I hate uh, you. I hate you, you greedy, money grabbing too, swines. Pissing adverts. Great job there by Bryce Missed, Young. Missed a lot of that now. Foot, the left foot looks okay. The right foot, however, clearly had a bounce. Where's the ball at that point? And we got to look to where. Listen, it appears that's before he stretches out the ball. Here's the ball on cam. You can't see the foot at that point. God there damn, go. he brought some of that chalk like up there, didn't he? Probably on the <laughs> half yard line, maybe just inside the one. Come on. Either way, first and goal. Come on. But how about his body control? I mean, forget the ruling on the field and what we're doing for review. Just how about the athleticism and the body? Mrs. Ray Paul, too yeah, many reviews, really nice too many touchdown there, reviews the these days, isn't knowing it? Knowing where you're at, knowing what you need. After review, the player stepped out of bounds at the one-yard line. It'll it's a touchdown. Goal. Come on, for fuck's sake! It's a really good job. Call the quarterback, and a lot of people have been what? clamoring. Bryce Young to use his legs more. I mean, he's got that in the arsenal. I mean, but one thing I would say uh, is taking the piss. I mean, he can run. We we know that he can run. Oh, but the big plays sake. happen when you break the pocket and throw. Regroup. So still want regroup. Him to continue to be Come on. Aggressive throughout the second half of the season, but when the opportunity is there to use your legs, there's no shame in picking up 10 to 15 yards if nobody's going to account for you in the run game. Robinson stacked up and trying to break free, but he is tackled for a loss. So it'll be second and goal. That was a loss of two. And a great job there at the line of scrimmage by Brule, who really ate it up, and Jet Johnson, too, just clogged the middle of that hole. A great job there by the Mississippi State front, and being strong at the point of attack.
New Jersey has early voting. You can vote early in Essex County. Beginning on October 23rd, you can walk into any of our 10 early voting centers and cast your vote. Please go to EssexClerk.com to view early voting center locations. And locations will also be listed on your sample ballot. You can walk in and cast your vote over a nine-day early voting period. You now have three ways to vote. Vote by mail, vote at an early voting center, vote on election day, November 2nd. Let's vote and together we can make democracy work. Jeremiah Energy is everything. I was like, somebody needs to see this awesomeness I get every time I go to Chick-fil-A. She said, can I record you? I was like, of course. <laughs> thank you have an awesome you. day up ahead. Thank <laughs> All right, you all thank for you. Chick-fil-A. The next thing you know, it was like, boom. People that never even been to Wilmington that wanted to come to Chick-fil-A to meet Jeremiah. I've always had my... Uh, oh, I'm sick and tired of these... Today, the best oh, really, I'm sick and tired of these adverts. These adverts really are taking the piss now. Matt Berry and our college really football are taking studios the piss. with an update on Oklahoma and Back TCU. To the game. This yeah. one is a probably scored about 800 shootout. fucking Quinn goals Johnson, before fucking adverts finish. What a catch from Max Duggan. Christ. Cuts sake. it to 31 21. Well, at least we're back to the game. Caleb Williams is making history for Oklahoma, getting the start for the true freshman. Setting the record for most TD passes by a true freshman in his first start, 38-21. For those waiting for Arizona State and Utah, we're going to kick that one over on ESPN News. We'll move it here to ESPN. Yes, this is very poor. Last Alabama. week was um, very bad. It was very clear. Do you know what, Mrs. Raypo? Well, I really enjoyed that was game last week. Moment? Was our team meeting? It was so close. Was there, is it the room? What was that moment like, and what did you say to the team? And Alabama was so unlucky to lose it at that last dying seconds. With that bloody drop goal. Field goal, I mean, field goal. That's the way it happens sometimes. Guys, last you know, minute. We have to many a games, job. many a football we'll games. I've you know, been one in the dying seconds. That's the biggest thing when you come to Alabama. That's the standard. Football is the most important thing. 42 9 now. 42 9. See, we've, we've that. missed some bloody action because of Williams pissing that was birds. visibly frustrated during Monday's presser. He sent a similar message come after on, the Florida Alabama. game about guys needing to put football first. He said it wasn't taken seriously then, but he hopes it resonates with his teammates now. I'd like to think Mr. Anderson is pleased with his team's performance tonight, guys. Katie, how about his individual performance, huh? Six tackles, four sacks, pass broken up, five solo tackles.
previous. Ads, ads for fuck's sake, fuck off, ads. Oh, the driver. Third straight Mississippi State punt. The driver been nuts, guys. The driver been nuts. These adverts. <laughs> it has been full throttle, Bama, in this second half. Ten minutes left. Ten minutes left of the fourth. It's a big time Bulldogs roll, as good as it can be. This thing travels down to nearly the one yard line. CNK, CNK, Mike, how you doing, Full CNK? Good to see you, buddy. Front when it comes to hey, we're up late. We're up late Bama tonight, aren't we? Back. What time is it? What time is it? Ready for Subway Eat Fresh Refresh? That's a new and improved <gasps> Italian BM. Ten past three in the morning the here in the UK. Ten past three. You got a refresh to be fresh. Hold up. False start oh, on the spokesperson. Same adverts Save again. Order through the app. Hold it. He's taking the piss now, isn't it? Uh, there's something he really I is taking you. the piss. Uh, adverts after the adverts after adverts after adverts. The most adverts. advanced iPhone camera ever. And I got it at T-Mobile. <gasps> I thought you were going to talk about forever. Vivian, about smiling. When you get the new Vivian. T-Mobile, trade and value is locked in. So we can always have... Oh, you're doing Vivian. Yes. What are you up to? So what are you doing now? What are you doing? Switch to T-Mobile with me? Yes. <laughs> so we're going to T-Mobile. Fall in love with iPhone. Get it on us now and upgrade every two years forever. Have you had your breakfast yet, Vivian? Smiling. Have you had your breakfast? Hey, CNK, CNK. You feel a bit better after sleep. Sleep is what heals the body. You need to rest, CNK. Dynasty, so that you can be proud of your walls. Go ahead, throw your wine on it. What? No, I see you feel a bit better. Sleep is good for your body. <laughs> Introducing Bear Dynasty, the best of Bear, exclusively the Home Depot. Mind you, you can have too much sleep though. You can have too much sleep. Hey, Josh. Wrinkles send the wrong message. Help prevent them with down. It's nine minutes past nine. There, where Mrs. Raypole and Captain Raypole are. It took a while to get up here. We started out around oh, 1959. Vivian. Vivian says, I am having breakfast. Then we took a hard left and eat Avocado down. and chicken sandwich. A right up oh, thanks, Vivian. You made me really hungry now. I'm starving. I'm starving. A few million miles later, and voila. Imagine, I can't eat anything at this time now. Three o'clock in the morning. A truck that'll take you anywhere. This is the new Nissan. Aflac policyholders have been paid 37 billion directly. That's a lot of money. I tell you what I am going to do though, while these pissing adverts play along. I'm going to go downstairs, fetch myself a beer, a lager. I'll not be long. I'll leave you to the adverts. Oh, don't you love these adverts? They're fantastic. Some guy in a blue suit. Get help with expenses. How many people do you see in a blue suit these days? Sponsor of ESPN College Game Day. Say. ESPN College Football Alabama, Prime Time come on. is presented I'll by be back in a tick. Fresh be back, back in a tick. Subway. See TDP. Ty Davis Ooh, Price had that must have been a close game. Florida in the rushing to its school record. Huge win for Bo Nix and Auburn against Auburn, Arkansas, 38-23. Away that number two next to Iowa's Purdue, Purdue and Iowa, 24-7. College football rankings are brought to you by PlayStation. Well, I don't know, but last week you could not have got any closer between Alabama and Texas. Last week was so unbelievably close. It's got to go down as one of the games in history that last week. That was nail biting, nail biting last week. One thing that Cincinnati needs to acknowledge, though, is that their strength of schedule will weaken compared to those teams ranked right behind them. So they got a whole got some statistics they there. As well. They've gone now. Right, I'll be back in a tick. Right now, I know everyone seems to think this is the best chance for a group of five to get to the playoff. I think that's a very true statement. But I still think it's going to be dependent on what happens in the Power Five League Championships. Williams off right tackle. Whole lot of green in front of him. And then Roy Dell Williams just absolutely blasts Richardson. DeCamerian Richardson came up and said, I'm going to make this tackle. And Williams says, no, I'm going to be a Mack truck. <laughs> oh, my goodness, man. How about Williams right here? Great break to the outside. Good job at the line of scrimmage. And boom, <laughs> lower your shoulder. 
think when you look at, at the defender, Richardson, he thought he was going to go out of bounds. As you see, Holden fired up after seeing his running back do some damage. Isn't that what you want to see after last week? Even in the fourth quarter, even with a score like this, and now he goes off the left side and breaks it to the outside there and then dives ahead towards that line again. Well, let's talk about the contenders a little bit. We showed you the rankings, and you know what George was able to do against Kentucky. There's the road head. They got the rivalry game. What a disappointment for today against that undermanned LSU team. And they will most likely be heading to Atlanta to play for the SEC championship. How are you going to go right over uh, Charleston Southern there in, in the Georgia schedule? All right, you look at Cincinnati, what they have back. Only SMU ranked on their schedule. Like I said, their schedule will weaken. Their strength of resume will weaken as the season goes along. They need SMU to play really well here down the stretch to climb in the rankings a little bit to make that game there in November mean a little bit more. Williams. Dodges that one would-be tackler, another first down for Bama. We'll continue the conversation here with the contenders. And you see Oklahoma, of course, if they win out, they'll get in the playoff. I don't care how they look. We've seen teams look really, really subpar, but they're undefeated and they make the playoff, like Florida State in 2014 made the playoff, got blasted by the Oregon Ducks. And then Alabama, I think, still completely in control of their own destiny. Of course, next week against Tennessee. Tennessee, a team that's come to life a little bit of late. LSU not going away just yet, so some tough games remaining on Alabama's schedule but of course if they hold serve throughout the regular season then they'll be a heavy favorite in every game more than likely that'll set up one of the biggest games in recent history in college football against the Georgia Bulldogs there in Atlanta Williams is getting his here in this fourth quarter isn't he well we have the conversation you said as ah, a placeholder that you sat there with Iowa at number two now you can wipe them out but November 2nd is really the date you want to circle because these AP poll rankings, throw them right out the window. I don't think it's going to look anything like what they come out with when the committee gets together on November 2nd and releases the first CFP rankings. I think they'll be completely different. Completely agree. Because they have, I think, the benefit of being able to assess the individual data points that will allow teams to go where they're at. Talk about Cincinnati. They're the, they're the one that's little bit difficult right now to project exactly how things are going to go. I think it depends a lot on what Notre Dame does down the stretch because that right now is their most impressive win, their statement, their biggest performance. Trey Sanders getting some work here. And I would turn to you and I would honestly say, if you're sitting there in that committee, and this week you may sit there and you may say to yourself, okay, so in the AP poll, here's Cincinnati moving up. You really believe Cincinnati is better than this Alabama team? No. You really believe that Cincinnati has a two next to their name, that they're better than this Alabama team? I would not pick Cincinnati to beat Alabama, no. I, I think Cincinnati's really good. Absolutely they are. Very deserving of a top five ring. I'd have them ahead of Oklahoma. I think I would have Ohio State ahead of Cincinnati, full disclosure, with how they're playing right now and how things have come alive for them. And here is Bryce Young hooking it up with Holden and into the end zone. And you got a half a hundo up with the tie. They're up 48 to 9. Four touchdown passes for Bryce Young. They've had seven plays of 20 or more yards, four for touchdowns, and 49 is plenty fine. 49 to nine, Alabama. Oh, the bounce back wins. On a bounce back statement. Bryce Young. Trayshawn Holden. Made it look so easy. It's been all night long. I'm back. I haven't missed anything. I haven't missed anything. Hold on. Have we just had Welcome a field goal? State. What have I missed? Have Was that a field goal? Rates. 49 now. <coughs> Knowledge is one thing. But what you do with it will change the world. Sheffield Hallam University. Oh, was it a, tu a touchdown? Was that a touchdown?
Bloody tepic, I'll go to the toilet and I miss a friggin' touchdown. Let me... Oh. These ads for God's sake, skip ads. Piss off. Every kiss with Kay. Oh, and they go straight you know, into another ad. Oh, sorry, guys. You know what I can do about stuff. this. Well, I want my rapper to be... <sighs> How about a park bench? Dad, you need to think bigger. Recycle I suppose it wouldn't be so bad with all these ads now. if there were yeah. ads we were really wild. interested in. They're usually just pointless so adverts, aren't they? Who's ready to show me who's the cheesiest? I woke up feeling the cheesiest college. Cheese it, official sponsor of the college football playoff. In 2016, I was working at the Amazon warehouse when my brother passed away, and a couple of years later, my mother passed away. After taking care of them, I knew that I really wanted to become a nurse. Amazon helped me with training and tuition. Today, I'm a medical assistant and I'm studying to become a registered nurse. Hindi ko kayo makakalimutan. Well, I got me a lager. I'm gonna have such a headache tomorrow. <laughs> it's worth it though, isn't it? Worth it watching Alabama kick the shit out of the opposing team. Chimes here to help. Just use the card with on-time payments. You'll be happy where it can take you. Whoa. Whoa. Get started at chime.com. I'm coming in fast. First place you coming in last. Brittany Griner with the final slam. The WNBA were in it for the finals. Game four tomorrow at three on ESPN. <laughs> A 40 point lead for Bama as you're watching ESPN College Football Primetime presented by Subway. Everybody's smiling over there on the Tide sideline. You see Bryce Young with his old line, Neil Echoor from Indy, a right guard, that entire crowd. Is it me, everybody? Oh. All night long. Do I think Alabama's going to win this game? <laughs> Joe Tess, people are going to think Come differently on. about Why Alabama now that Caleb Williams is the starting quarterback. He's thrown three incompletions, thrown for four touchdowns, has this 41-yard touchdown run. It is 45-24 Boomer. For those waiting for Arizona State and Utah, it is kicked off over on ESPN News. ASU's got the ball. We'll move it over to here to ESPN when the Alabama game goes final. Don't you dare change the channel, Matt. I know you're a diehard Arizona State guy. Diehard Sun Devil. Don't you dare change the channel. All right, you stay with us, buddy, until the end. So the third field. So Matt mentioned what's going on with the ball. He's five-star ball. And with Cam Williams, who's on Washington this year, he's on the front row. What a ball with Cam Williams. His attitude is, I want to get deep in Rattler going the portal? Does he stick around? I mean, I don't the, know. The guy was man. the Heisman favorite. He was, yes, the odds on favorite. He was the odds on Heisman, Heisman favorite. He now no longer starts in the sport. That guy starts. That guy dominates. Will Anderson. That's what he's done tonight. Seven sacks for Appleby. Third and two. Rodgers will get it complete to Marks. Coming up on five minutes to play here. Statement night for Alabama in the bounce backer. After everybody said, oh, they're wounded, the sky is fallen with the last second loss to a &M. And everybody said, well, you look at what it means now for the tie. They lost to an unranked team. Can we please stop with the narrative that a &M was an unranked team last week? You look at that top 25 as he gets it complete to Ford again. And Greg, I made this statement. We've been talking about it all week long. 
top 25, and I'll point you to about 15 teams to 20 teams that would trade rosters right now for Texas A&M's roster. Absolutely. 100% they would. I mean, A&M is not, it's not unranked. your dad's unranked team. Please, stop <laughs> it. <laughs> what a joke. They are a very real roster, and Bama caught them on a hot night. There's that inside tunnel screen again. We're trying to run that all night long. Calvin has it there. Well, the 75th season of the NBA begins this week, and ESPN has a great Wednesday doubleheader. 7.30 at Celtics and Knicks at MSG. And then Nuggets, Suns at 10 o'clock. NBA countdown will get you started at 7 p.m. Are we this far into the football season? <laughs> it's a wonderful time of year if you love sports. I, for one, love ball. You love ball as well, Joe. I love ball. Do you love ball, Katie? You guys know I love ball. Maybe even more so than the two of you. Oh, take it, Tess. <laughs> Rufus Hardy just took it, Katie. From Marcus Banks. Want to know the best kept secret in training?
grandson of Bear Bryant, playing quarterback for Alabama. Trey Sanders on the carry to the 35. Let's go to the studio, Matt. Guys, check it in on the Pac-12 game. Arizona State, Utah, Jalen, Jaden Daniels to Jalen Conyers. 12th place, 75 yards. Sun Devil strike first, 7 nothing. Come over here on ESPN after the game. Look forward to that. We will take ball deep into the night and enjoy it. 7-zip, Sun Yes, Devils. Katrina Denison, my sister is fast asleep, everybody. Fast asleep. Well, it's these work hours. Six, five, these work two, hours. She's up at so four o'clock in yes, the morning. Of course, he's got the bloodline. She has to get up at four a.m. Proved a lot too. From it's awful. Russell, it's Birmingham, horrible. Alabama, retail, retail. If you work in retail, Sanders, nearly it's a slave driving out. job. It's an awful job. It's a well, awful this job. second job. half yeah. with the explosive play for Alabama, asleep, and then Bryce Young making his magic, and Brian Robinson running well, downhill. Well, it's still 49-9 to Alabama. Half. Look at the yardage in the second half. Yeah, and how about the performance too? I mean, not to be outdone. Alabama's um, defense is Captain, the next uh, Mrs. Ripper, are they well, playing? Are they playing next week, Alabama? When's the next game? When is the next game? And Alabama did a really good job making sure that they clamp down in the red zone and then the second half clamping down on all parts of the field. Sanders are going to run this thing out. And so we're down to the final minute. Alabama's going to have to contend with a very different looking Tennessee team next week is a far more attractive game than we would have thought. Tennessee is in a battle with Ole Miss right now. That game on the SEC Network, that outstanding primetime broadcast again. By the way, Matt Corral in that game tonight, the Ole Miss quarterback, who, whether it's Bryce Young as your leading Heisman guy, or whether it's Matt Corral, or there's others, Kenneth Walker at Michigan State. Corral's got 124 yards rushing tonight in that game. The star here was the defense with Will Anderson and the offense with ah, that so guy, Bryce Young. Same time tonight then. 348 um, yards. 6 p.m. Mrs. Report. So that'll be touchdowns. 12. Well, that'll be midnight here in the UK. The midnight next week. Alabama. Did they ever listen to the Will that be on a Saturday, Mrs. Report? Did they ever? 49 to 9. As Nick Saban. And they play Tennessee next week, Bob. As Alabama head coach, his 176th win. Arizona State and oh. Utah coming your way. The score line's not changed for a while. Starkville, the tide rolls here. Come on, another, another touchdown is due. It's got to be. Come on. ESPN, thanks Come on, Alabama. This presentation of the Southeastern Conference. And we do welcome those of you who are joining us after Alabama takes care of Mississippi State. Out West, Pac-12 after dark from Salt Lake City, Utah with the football for the first time. A beautiful pass from Cam Rising right over the shoulder. Devon Bailey hauls it in. So after Arizona State went down the field and scored on their first possession, Utah trying to answer. Well, we talked about Cam Rising. One of his strong points is his ability to throw the deep ball. And that was thrown with great touch, but give Bailey a lot of credit for running around and giving his quarterback a lot of room to drop the ball in there. That was 23 yards. These are the only two undefeated, not undefeated overall, but undefeated in Pac-12 play teams left in this conference. Just a huge game to determine the winner of the Pac-12 South. A little jet sweep action. I think that was Britton Covey who got the ball and Tyler Johnson was right there to stuff it. This is a, a huge game because the winner is going to be in great shape. If it's Arizona State, you know, if they have the tiebreaker against their most likely competitors in Utah and UCLA. Yeah, ASU's already won on the road at UCLA and now trying to do the same on the road against Utah. The schedule is very favorable for ASU if they can get out of here with a victory. Rising over the top again, and this one is caught with the defense all over Dalton Kincaid. Another nice pass and maybe an even better catch. Yeah, you know, that is beautiful. I mean, he just has a great touch with this fade. He drops it in perfectly, gives his guy a chance to make a play, and it gets 
made. We talked about his ability, his instincts, and he, he really played like a guy who started a couple of seasons and not just his fifth game. Yeah, Cam Rising, who was hurt last year after winning the starting job and pay, played just a handful of plays and missed the rest of the year. Play fake here, and he slings it out. That's a real screen type. being shown the man coverage God damn, do you know what it's so hard to play to, give their guys a to try and play keyboard when you're pissed into the teeth so old Whittingham's team come on Alabama come on let me hear it let me hear it everybody Alabama come on Tavion Thomas in the game now in the backfield He'll get his first carry of the night, and again, Arizona State, they are top. Mrs. Ray, it's finished. Game the game is finished, Mrs. Ray Paul. This is one of the top run defenses in the Pac-12. They are <laughs> athletic, they are incredibly Jesus fast. Christ. And really big inside where they need to be to really kind of keep you... I've been paying too much attention to my keyboard, haven't I? It's finished, it's gone. It's well, you can't even see his number, he's well, so big. okay then, it's finished. <laughs> Alabama, <laughs> well done, congratulations. Fantastic. An awesome win. An awesome win. A win's a win. But when you do it with that... Amount of points. It's an even more that awesome win. A part of this Utah program, it seems like forever. Well, since 2015. 2015. He's been around. This is very poor. I thought they were showing replays of different games. You know, like they do. Because it's not always just. Not just one game playing, is there? Usually, there's a few um, football matches going on, and they always like show snippets of the other games, what's going on, don't they? I, that's what I thought they were doing, but I didn't know it finished. <laughs> oh, God. Right then, so that's the end of that then. Well done, Alabama. Well done. So I think all that's left is for me to attempt to play uh, one last tune and call it a night. But I'm so pissed. It's unbelievable. At a very high level. Instincts, once again, so let's get let's get rid of let's get rid of the batch. Let's get rid of the game. And he's got that rid of the. Uh, to get to the outside. That star. Football, what's going off now? And uh, has been bring it back to me. Give me a second. I don't even know what I'm saying now. We'll try. And we may use a lot of them tonight. <laughs> Extra point is up and good. What a start to the game tonight. I mean, we I'm know how big this game drinking. is. Both teams look like they came very ready to play. It's 7 7 after Utah scores. Answering the Arizona State touchdown, Cam Rising showing you that. He's got the goods for this one tonight. This is going to be scintillating. Yeah, that's half the fun of a new house. Seeing what people left behind in the attic. Well, saving on homeowner's insurance with Geico's help was pretty fun, too. Oh, it's a tiny dancer. They left a ton of stuff up here. Well done, Oliver. Well done. Well, enjoy your house. Nope. No, thank you. Geico could help you save on homeowners and renters insurance. You want fries with that? Introducing Wendy's new got to at least try and play one song. I've got A for kind of Foster's left yet. I can't go yet. But then again, I know for a fact I'm not going to play keyboard very well because I'm pissed. Let's see what happens. Anyway, well done Alabama. Well done.
I'll, I'll tell you what I'll, I'll tell you what I'll try and play. The song I started with on my stream t tonight earlier. I spent three minutes, three minutes of learning. Uh, Give me all your loving by ZZ Top. I'm going to um, attempt it again. That's what I'm going to play next in a minute give me all your loving all your loving wishes too do, 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 do. ZZ Top what a band
scrub that scrub. Scrub it. Scrub it. Take off. Scrub it. I've totally forgot the bloody. Um, I forgot it anyway. Put it this way. Let's try one. Try to try a different one. Let's try a different one.
Wow, that was so hard work. I'm too drunk to carry on. I can't. Um, I'm surprised I just played that last song, to be honest. I don't know it wasn't that. I know it wasn't that good. But I, I cannot play anymore. I'm too drunk. I've had too much alcoholic content. Everybody. And um, right, so it's uh, time to go. Well done to Alabama for winning that football game this evening. Fantastic. It was a whitewash again. I mean, compared to last week's game, Alabama and Texas. I think they've uh, redeemed themselves tonight with that win. So well done to Alabama. Well done to Alabama. Well done. Here's to next week. Let's see what happens next week in next week's um, football game. I'm buggering off now. I'm pissed. Did I mention I was pissed? Oh, slightly drunk. <laughs> Bob is in his kitchen. Oh, oh, excuse me. Bob says, in my kitchen, I have 11 drawers and 24 cupboards. And my wife thinks she can hide sweets from me. Sweets? She's not hiding sweets from you, Bob, is she? She can't be doing that. That's not a good partner. Get rid of her. Get rid of her, Bob. If she's hiding sweets from you, then that's it. The marriage is over. <laughs> right, yet. Yeah. So, good night, everybody. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm babbling. I think I will be doing a stream tomorrow night because I'm, I'm on late next week so I think I can muster at least a couple of hours stream tomorrow night around about 8pm when I'm sober then I'll be sober then so take care everybody Mrs Ray Paul good night Bob M UK Captain Ray Paul Good night buddy CNK CNK you take care CNK You get some rest Mike get some rest When did you see you back on that YouTube CNK doing your Elvis? Right, I think that's about it. Not many in tonight, understandable. It is nearly four o'clock in the morning here. <laughs> Radio, right. I'm off. Take care, everybody. Have a fantastic Sunday. And I shall see you all very soon, tomorrow night. Hopefully. Oh, where's that topless darts? Oh, there it is. Get rid of that. And, um, I'll see you all soon.